Aries, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. All right, let's take a look. Oh, geez. Okay, let's take a look at what messages are coming through for you, Aries. Hold on, let me just go through these cards one last time. You know, these they're always pre-shuffled and cleansed, but I like to see if there's any jumpers. And okay, well, yeah, Aries, we're starting off with these jumpy energies. Oh, geez, and that card just flew out of my hand. Okay, hold on. Let me... What's coming in here for you, Aries? Let's go ahead. Well, I guess this is the easy part. When the cards... Ooh, double aces. When the cards just want to come out for themselves. Let's see. What do we have here? Aries, we're looking at two of pentacles. Let's go ahead and get some clarifiers with the two of pentacles that's uh, appearing. Next to the ace of pentacles, too. Uh, let's see. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Aries, very powerful. Hold on, let me let me see. The Two of Pentacles. Here we are looking at some type of resource. Okay, it's like you are man. You are using your energy and resources to create like an ideal situation. It's like you're drawing from here, you're drawing from there. Um, that looks like a multitasking, reprioritizing, um, budgeting, okay? Like swapping things out, focusing on, some of you areas you're realizing like what you used to prioritize isn't as important and you're redirecting that energy and shifting it into what is important to create the ideal situation for you. And when you do that, that's when like magic happens. That's when you see like results appearing okay that's when you start to see things um coming to life and being presented hold on i just want to pull one more clarifier here king of swords like your thoughts are becoming your reality the thing is aries whatever you set your mind and your intentions to you can do it the king of swords taps into being disciplined being you know resourceful educated seeking the truth seeking the answers Okay, being very diligent and focused. So here, there's something that I see you Aries, like you are really seeking out like the knowledge and the intention to be in a well positioned situation. And you are shifting things in your path to make sure that this happens. Because this energy feels very, very, what's the word? Um determined there we go especially with the king of swords so in this month of november aries there's something here that you are like determined to do or to make happen no matter what you're like i don't care i'm gonna make this happen you know i'm gonna try to afford this or i'm gonna try to create this i'm going to make sure i have time for this okay you are very very determined to bring this forth into your life now, as we take a look at these double breakthroughs, we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles, we are looking at new financial or career opportunities coming in your path. This is also some type of seed of potential that's going to grow and multiply into something much more fruitful. Um, I see you, Aries, like you receiving more, okay? Ooh, taking a chance with the fool. So definitely something new in your life coming in that is just the beginning, but it's going to expand into something much more powerful. There is, um, I feel like this is a very abundant beginning here for you. When I say abundant, yes, it could be with your job, your career, could be with your projects, your personal life. Sometimes though, especially when it's next to the Ace of Wands, okay, and it's also diagonal from the Hierophant, sometimes what people see as valuable is like love too. So like you starting to date, you getting into a, a relationship, right? So that seed here starts small, but then it grows into like love, passion, trust, okay, like marriage, <laughs> commitment, proposal. So it's like you are taking a chance back into love or you're giving something a chance, whether it's a new career, a new industry, you taking a chance on yourself, Aries, and you see like it's going to expand okay it's going to be much much bigger than how it's starting just like we look at a seed it starts small but then by the end of it it's like a big abundant tree that is providing lots of fruits for you in your life 
Now, as we look at the Ace of Wands, we definitely see new opportunities and beginnings coming in here. There's some type of growth. Um, this could be fertility too, okay? It could be something is being birthed into your, your life. I do see a lot of passion. Look at this, another page of pentacles. So somewhere here, I see Aries, there's this idea of like generating more wealth or abundance in your life. Like, how can you bring in more value? How can you bring in more resources, more money? How can you, there's something here where you're just like, how can I bring in just these um, opportunities? Like you're birthing something into this realm, using your creativity, moving out of darkness into something like much more clear. Okay, like you're seeing the eye through the darkness. Like you've gone through some dark times, but you made it out and you're like, okay, you know, I'm ready to break through. I got so many ideas. I have a new outlook. I'm ready to expand. You're ready to possess like your influential power. Let's see, Aries. Let's see, High Priestess and Justice. Definitely, especially when the High Priestess is looking towards the Ace of Wands, for those that are like creators or artists um, or even just like with your, your, your job situation, definitely lean into something that you have an intuitive pull in this month, okay? Oh my gosh, look at this, Page of Wands. Again, wand energy. So, I mean, this is double confirmation here, Aries. There's some type of idea or inspiration that you're going to get this burst of energy and there's potential behind that, okay? Whatever you are feeling enthusiastic about, whatever you are feeling guided to um, lean into, trust that intuition, trust that knowing. Like you don't know why, but you feel drawn to write this story, to start this podcast, to go on this trip, on this adventure, to give love another chance, you know, like to jump into an industry that you love or apply for that position that you think you're going to love. Like listen to your intuition. Because the Page of Wands is also someone that's going through a transformative uh, stage, even though it's different. They are, oops, they are able, they are willing to adapt or change for this. Ooh, justice. For my single Aries, love, okay, love looks very promising in this end of this year, November, December, you are, you know, going to find new love. You are spending time with loved ones. Um, the Knight of Cups with the Justice too. There's something here with some news, whether it's, I don't think it's so much of a confession, but I feel like it's some type of news or communication coming through where it's going to be in your favor. So someone, you know, calling you, messaging you, some type of letter coming through, someone saying a particular thing that will benefit, you know, you in your favor, look out for that because the Knight of Cups is really that knight in shining armor where <laughs> they tell you what you needed to hear. They are bringing, they're just the messenger, but the messenger is like positive, okay? So aside from like love, it could be love though. Maybe your loved one is, you know, proposing, confessing their love, um, talks of you know taking it to another higher stage but this is also information getting that phone call from that job you were hoping for hearing good news regarding your health you know maybe someone in your family is announcing something it's something that you're just like wow this is happening you know like justice is again on your side so look out for that aries all right something is you know coming out in your favor geez so many jumpers coming in Hierophant with the Five of Pentacles. Some of you are going through a separation, um, divorce, um, or a split. Because here we see uh, the Hierophant. You know, it does represent a union. But we also see the Five of Pentacles. I feel like, um, not all of you, but yeah, some of you may be going through like a separation. It's more like a rocky, yeah, it, it's almost, hmm. I'm getting like a lot of mixed signals. <laughs> Maybe that's what some of you are experiencing, Aries. It's like someone that you are attached to is like giving mixed vibes or mixed, mixed signals. Like you're at a loss. You don't know how to feel. You feel lost because you're like, okay, do they want to make this work? Do they not? Is this stable? Is this not? Um, they're there, but they're not. So something about this feels very, it's secure by law or by paperwork, but it doesn't feel secure. 
And this doesn't have to be a relationship per se, Aries. This could be just something that you just jumped into. Like maybe you have a contract with work or with partnerships. Maybe, um, you know, or with your career. Maybe something looks good on paper, but you're like, I don't know. It looks good on paper, but it doesn't feel secure, right? Like you locked into a lease or into a contract and you're just like, ah. So just be careful, Aries, be careful with that because just because something looks good on paper or just because something is finalized doesn't mean that it, mm, doesn't mean that it's going to benefit you right away or all the time. The Five of Pentacles, interesting. Some of you may also be at a financial loss, like going through, again, like that split, that divorce, and you're temporarily at a loss, like maybe paying child support or alimony, maybe you lost a job, okay? Maybe you had a contract, but you lost that contract, um, and you thought it was secure, but maybe that contract would, like went under or they went out of business. So possibly why we see it under the Two of Pentacles, reprioritizing, reshifting, um, and also adapting, Okay, creating like your own form of happiness or abundance. The Hierophant. Not all, but some of you areas are also going to be in a position where you're able to move. Um, you're moving or you're making certain moves in your life due to certain financial setbacks. Like you are needing to move to save money or you're moving in with someone or you're sharing um, responsibilities to help save time or money, resources. There's also research. Whether you're not doing it now, I see there's like some type of research on how can you thrive and flourish in another space, in another industry, in another area where you can have more for yourself. Okay, how can you make this uh, official? Because some of you are feeling like you don't have it right now. You don't have the time or the money or the means to do something right now, but you're looking and seeing, okay, how can I make this possible? So there's, November is also like an energy of planning, okay? Again, dedication, planning, reprioritizing, but there's also determination, okay? My fire signs, that's one thing I know about you. You're very determined. When you set your mind on something, <laughs> you're determined to, you know, make it so, Nine of Pentacles with the Seven of Pentacles. Something is definitely going to take time that you really want to commit yourself to. Um, but you have to understand that you have to be patient with the growth and the development in the process. The Knight of Pentacles, we see this as someone very hardworking, very productive, dedicated. But you have to understand that the path that you have chosen or what you choose to commit to, it's going to require like tending to okay so if you are committing to grow a garden metaphorically speaking you have to understand that those fruits and vegetables are going to take time so it's like once you make that commitment to you know be in a healthy relationship or maybe you're taking this career step maybe you're starting a business something here Aries is like okay remember it's going to take time okay so healing is time time is money money is time something here is like it's going to take time allow yourself grace to take time don't try to rush something um when it needs the organic time to flourish and be the fullest that it can be okay so something here is like patience it's going to be a virtue it's going to it may be frustrating or it may be slower than what you had anticipated but by you putting in the effort you're definitely going to see the rewards paying off for you now, as we look at the devil, interesting. I feel it was it uh, was it Leo. Leo had <laughs> the devil energy here too. What's up with my fire signs with the devil? A lot of setbacks. Some of you may be experiencing a lot of temptations. We have the devil paired here with the moon. Um, definitely dealing with some type of deceit. Something being hidden from you, Aries. Okay, but being that this is below the high priestess, listen to your gut feeling about certain certain situations. Sometimes you don't see the proof, but you feel it, okay? And that's what we have to deal with. Uh, that's what the, the high priestess represents. Some things are unseen, but there's an inner knowing. It's like you have a bad feeling about something. You don't know why, but you just 
in your gut it's like okay you know you can't trust this person or this person seems off or this job doesn't you know it doesn't seem stable or something just doesn't feel right or again something could you know your intuition's like okay go here this is better you don't know why this is better but you know that you need to leave where you're at to go towards better so the devil is really good at manipulating tricking deceiving okay and there's something here Aries that may have been hidden for a while like you weren't able to recognize the signs or um the deception okay the lies some of you may have been in denial of s certain situations that you have been uh, attached to for a very very long time but i see the writing is going to be on the wall in november something here you're going to feel because the moon is Pisces too. The moon is also intuition. You can't physically see intuition, but you can feel it. So there's going to be one or multiple situations where you're just going to have a, a knowing. You're going to feel like, okay, this is something I need to break away from. You're you're going to see something is not right, and you're like, ah, oh, they're keeping something from me. Okay, they're keeping their fingers crossed behind their back. They're showing like a two face, right? They're not giving me the full picture. Um, so if you have this feeling about something to that extent, Aries, listen to it, lean into that. Okay, and then we have the two of swords with the 10 of wands. Hmm. Very interesting because we start off with the two of pentacles and then we we end here with another two. The two in the tarot is showing like decisions and it looks like in this period, a lot of you Aries are in this crossroad of like option one, option two, A or B. And the supporting energy as we look at the 10 of, the 10 of wands, Some of you are forced to concentrate on things that may not, like the decision that you are making here, Aries, it's almost like maybe you're making decisions for other people, but it's really not like your responsibility. Or I also see like you making decisions because you have been tasked with things that aren't really your priority. You know, like if we look at work, you are given like more tasks more roles, more jobs. And you're thinking like, okay, should I say something or should I not? Should I quit? Look for another job? Like, should I make a big fuss about this? There's something here where you're just like, this is, or, you know, when it comes to like maybe your personal life, you've taken on a lot of work and you're just like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? So defining your goals clearly and doing what you must do I see is going to be your focus. Like you're going to try to Dial down, okay, what's on my priority right now? Because you can't do everything all at once, Aries. You're going to get exhausted. You're going to be burnt out. You're going to feel overwhelmed. So being that you have limited energies, you're you're making like a choice, a conscious choice of like, okay, what, what should I do? Where do I want to go with the strength that I do have left of me? Interesting. All right, Aries, I'll see you in the next reading. Make sure you definitely subscribe and stay tuned for these bonus readings. And until then, stay well and be blessed.